want to talk to you for a moment from the subject, give your mind a purpose. Give your mind a purpose. Now, what is a purpose? A purpose is a goal, a direction, a good project. And here's something that I want you to write down because this is a teaching church. Most of us are accustomed to taking notes in our services and in our classes. If you're looking in by television, quickly reach and get a pencil or a pen. Grab the nearest paper sack if you have to. <laughs> There's something important that I want you to write down about purpose. And this is it. Give your mind a purpose and it will find all of the necessary ways and means of accomplishing the purpose you give it. Another sentence that I want you to take into your hearts and to write down. Your mind will work what seems like miracles to accomplish the good purpose you give it. Your mind will work what seems like miracles to accomplish the good purpose that you give it. And usually when I use the word miracle, I go into semantics. And frankly, it's only a question of semantics. Call it what you will. But every time something, whenever something wonderful happens, we say, oh, that's a miracle, and I'm not going to argue over the semantics today. Because when you make up your mind about something, when you decide upon a good purpose in your life, yes, seeming miracles begin to happen to accomplish the purpose which you have established in your mind. There's a beautiful passage of Scripture which I love so much. And that passage of Scripture says, I will even make a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. I will even make a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert. Who is this speaking? It is really your own God-given mind power speaking. You have something within you which when you use it to decide it will work miracles for you. And of course when you understand the mind science behind it then you know that in the strictest sense it's not a miracle. But on the conscious level it is. Your mind power, the power of God within you says I will make a way in the wilderness. In other words, it doesn't matter how many things seem to be in your way. The wilderness here represents obstruction. And you know, so many times people fail to make a decision. People fail to establish a purpose in their lives because so many things seem to be in the way. And I'm going to ask for some confessions here. How many of you have ever wanted to be something or do something or to have something, but before you really decided, well, this is what I want to be, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to have, you looked around and it seemed as if there was a wilderness of obstruction. <laughs> Let me hold up my hands. Now listen. You have a power within you, the mind power of God within you, which says, never mind the obstructions. Never mind all of the good reasons why you can't. If you establish a goal, if you establish a purpose, if you make a decision, I will make a way in the wilderness. 
I will make a path through the obstructions, and I will make rivers in the desert. A desert here is an empty place, a barren place. It's a place in your mind, really, a place in your condition where it seems as if what you need is not present. But the power of God within you says, I'll make rivers in the desert. I challenge every one of you here today, establish a goal for your life. Establish a good purpose in your life. And the presence of God in you, the power of God in you, will make ways in the desert, ways in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. There's another very beautiful verse of Scripture which I like so well. And here again, it is the God mind within which is speaking. And this verse of Scripture says, Look unto me and I will show you great and mighty things. You know, the trouble is we look at obstruction too much. And I'll tell you this, and I'm sure every one of you have these experiences, or you have had them. How many of you, as soon as you decide something good that you would like to be, to do, and to have, immediately the voice of reason comes to you and tells you all of the reasons why you can't? And I have found out that many people have become expert prosecuting attorneys against themselves. When you make your good purpose, when you set your goals, it is not always wise to tell other people because they will talk you out of your good purpose. It's not good always to even tell your husband or your wife the good purpose that you have decided. Not always. And certainly it's not good to tell your friends. <laughs> it's like some of you pick up the telephone and say, Susie, hello. <laughs> said, you know, I just decided that I'm going to do such and such a thing. And right away Susie will say back to you, oh girl, you know you can't do that. But thank God the world is full of things which people said couldn't be done. And you remember that when you set your goals, when you establish your purpose, that the world is full of things which people said couldn't be done. Say that with me. The world is full of things which people said couldn't be done. And I'm going to change the wordology slightly. The world is full of wonders which people said couldn't be done. Together, the world is full of wonders which people said couldn't be done. And you make up your mind to be one of those wonders. It is better many times to keep your goals and your purposes secret and say nothing to anybody about them until they have already been accomplished. And then the doubters will look on and they'll have to close their mouths. But first of all, if you want your mind to work out the good which you desire, you must give it a purpose. Here's another statement that I have used many times, and I'll give it to you again. The moment you accept an idea, everything necessary for the fulfillment of that idea begins to happen instantly. So you see, your mind power begins to work out the purpose that you give it instantly. Oh, that's why I'm always using my slogan, you can't lose with the stuff I use. I want you people to know that this mind power that I'm talking about is not something that works tomorrow, a day after tomorrow, but mind power works right here, right now. This mind power that I'm talking about is something which is in action instantly and constantly. Now you establish a purpose. Establish a goal. And I say to you the very moment that you 
decide upon a goal, the very moment that you decide upon a good purpose in your mind, just like that, your mind power will begin to work out all of the ways and means, and everything will begin to fall into place. Sometimes around here, we demonstrate how, how mind power works out the purpose that you give it by saying everything is just clicking. Come on, do that and snap your fingers. Come on. Everything is just clicking. Everything is just clicking. Everything is just clicking. 